Hi, SetApp family. Today, we are talking Bluetooth. Are your devices connecting properly? Do you keep losing connection? Bluetooth simply won't turn on? Let's get to the bottom of it. First, let's go through a checklist of the basics that you have to make sure are right before you get to fixing. First, check the battery. Is your Bluetooth device charged? Sometimes, your connectivity issue is just a dead battery in your peripheral, and all you have to do to fix it is place it on a charger. Next, your MacBook Bluetooth may not be working simply because it's not on. Spot the Bluetooth icon in your Mac's menu bar and click on it to view the status. Toggle the switch to on if it's not. Finally, check if your device is within range. Official Bluetooth range is 30 feet or 10 meters. That's if you don't have any wireless devices interfering with the connection. Microwaves, cordless phones, baby monitors, metal objects, and even wireless networks that use the same 2.4 GHz band can be the reason why Bluetooth is seemingly not working on your Mac. Now that our quick check of the very basics is completed, let's move to actually fixing your MacBook Bluetooth not turning on. Step 1. Turn the Bluetooth off and on. Yes, this step is a little frustrating as it doesn't always work and seems way too obvious. But sometimes, a little restart of the Bluetooth function on your Mac can be enough to fix your drop connection. Step 2. Disconnect your Bluetooth and USB devices from the Mac. Restart and then reconnect. To do this, remove all USB connected peripherals and go to System Settings, Bluetooth. Right click on each device and select Disconnect. When all your peripherals are disconnected, restart your Mac and connect everything again. If your MacBook Bluetooth won't turn on, it might also be remedied with a simple restart of the Mac. Step 3. If none of the above solutions worked, there's another hack you can try. If your MacBook Pro or Air Bluetooth is not working, you can reset your Bluetooth module from the terminal. Open Terminal from Spotlight or Finder and type in the command sudo pkill Bluetooth D. Hit Enter and type in your Mac password to confirm. Hit Enter again and now your Bluetooth module will reset. Note that if your keyboard or mouse are connected via Bluetooth, they will get disconnected as your Bluetooth resets. Now, these were the key solutions you can try. We are not out of options yet. If your MacBook Bluetooth still won't turn on, you can also reset NVRAM and SMC. To reset NVRAM, shut down your Mac, then turn it on, and as you do, press Option plus Command plus P plus R right away, and hold for about 20 seconds. To reset SMC, for M1 Macs, just restart your computer. For Intel-based MacBooks with T2 chip, shut down the Mac. Hold Control plus Option plus specifically the right shift key for 7 seconds. Now, without releasing the keys, press the power button and hold all the keys for 7 more seconds. Release, and after a few seconds, turn on your Mac. Now, I know what you must be thinking. These days, there's an app for everything. So how come there's no app for this? Well, if your Bluetooth devices keep dropping, or you're tired of Googling, why won't my Bluetooth turn? Every time your Bluetooth connection is flimsy, there's actually an app for that. Install Tooth Fairy from SetApp and set up your Bluetooth devices in the app. The app adds an icon for each Bluetooth device to your menu bar. You can pick the icons that you like. So now, when you want to pair with your devices, simply click the respective icon and voila, the connection is set. Headphones, keyboards, AirPods, a mouse, Connect or disconnect anything with a single click. If you found our video on how to remove icons from the desktop of your Mac useful, please hit the like button, save this video to a playlist, and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching, and we are looking forward to seeing you on our other videos with helpful tips and ideas for your Mac.